Good afternoon, this is Griever, and today I'm not bringing you any uh, casting. I'm going to bring you a short tutorial on the Archon administration system for TF2. More specifically, uh, I'm going to be covering the NZ Fortress and Oz Fortress bookables and the configs that you need to run on them. This will be handy for a lot of the new clan leaders out there, etc. Because you'll be booking servers, and if you get in there and don't have a clue what you're doing, you're going to have to ask people and... Not only is that possibly a tad embarrassing, it's also time wasting when you could be scrimming and talking strats, etc. So you've gone and booked your server and you will have been given uh, a string that has various things in it. String will most likely look like this. So as you can see here we have the IP address for the server along with the port and we also have the password for the server, Spice in this case, and then you have the Archon password bottle. Now. Uh, obviously you have this long string but we only need certain parts of it for certain things the part you want to give to your opponents and your clan mates is this this is the general connect string which has the password so this is how you would first connect to the server using this and you would simply delete that and hit enter and then Bob's your uncle you would connect to the server the other one of course is the Archon password and this is what we need to actually take control of the server Now it's worthy of note that every command that you input into a server once you have Archon you know, control of it needs to be prefaced with the command Archon, R-C-O-N. But first of all let's put in the password. So we're going to bring up our console and we're going to type in Archon and then using the arrow keys you can go down and it will take you down to Archon password. Now this is where we're going to put in our password which in this case is bottle. Hit enter. That's it. So we need to do. You now have Archon control of the server, and you can input server commands. Now, from here, we're going to go through the ba for the basic configs that you're going to need that are specific to, uh, you know, adminning a server in general, and of course the OWL configs for the NZ Fortress and Oz Fortress bookables for when you have league matches. Right, first up, you are going to need to know the basic one for scrimming every night, and this one here is called the scrim config funnily enough so archon exec or execute scrim this here is the basic one you will need and this sets the map time to 30 minutes because obviously you usually have our scrims so this will allow for two maps and it will uh, and it will mean there's no win limit so you can go for as many rounds as it takes so you can possibly get raffle stomped or you can raffle stomp yourself if you're trying to you know build some morale for your team. So we're going to go ahead and execute that and boom it just runs straight away and as you can see it's just come here and it's told you the basics of it say uh, MP tournament stopwatch is zero because we don't need that time limit changed to 30 scrim o'clock config loaded and then that will disappear when the text disappears. So you've just executed the config you need to have a, you know, a normal scrim on your server. The other one you may need is archon execute push. This is one that sets a 5 win limit so whichever team gets to five rounds first wins the uh, wins the map and then you'd probably move on to the next map or if it's a real ruffle stomp and you forgot to execute scrim like I often do you do the map again from here we move into the uh, into the configs which aren't so widely used but you definitely need to know such as Archon execute cough this is for cough based maps such as uh, Pro Viaduct and Asheville so you just execute that one as normal and as you can see here the win conditions is five rounds three wins the other one you will need to know is Archon execute stopwatch now this one here is for uh, gravel pit and other time based maps as you can see the win conditions are none and that is because each, each team will get a turn to attack and defend and uh, obviously you have to beat the other team's time and then you get a chance to attack and defend if they went first. Now the way you change, it around, change the teams around is the MP switch teams Oop, MP switch teams command so this one here you would preface with Archon MP switch teams however if you execute this like just as it comes it probably won't work so you need to put in one so one second it'll do that Five, hit that four, and it will change three, the teams around two, one. 
boom, team switched. Now you would do this after after a team has had a turn to attack and defend, and then it's the other team's turn, so you would swap it around. Now, just say that you only have 15 minutes until your next scrim, and you want to have a quick map, and you don't want to be looking at the time every two seconds, we would come in and we would change the time limit by going MP underscore time limit, and we would change that to say 15 minutes, remembering that you have to put in the Archon prefix. Boom. MP time limit has been changed to 15. Let's see that has. Right, so that's all you need to do for commands like that. Another handy command that you may need is Archon SV All Talk 1. This will allow you to turn on All Talk on the server so that you can communicate with the other team. And of course, by putting a zero next to it, you can kill that and uh, turn it back to not all talk. Um, another handy one for pugs, etc., when people aren't in mumble, is team talk, which is TF team talk. So if you change that to one, remembering the Archon prefix, um, you can turn that on so that your team can talk even when they're dead. Uh, to each other and obviously we'll do it for both teams so it's not much of an advantage there but it's very handy for pugs and the like and now for the command that you are going to need the most and uh, that would be Archon change level whoa excuse my caps Archon change level and then you put in the full name of the level such as CP Badlands and you hit enter and this will change the uh, change the level that the server is operating I'm just going to pause this up so we don't have to wait all day and lucky I paused that because New Zealand internet did uh, more of a fail than it usually does and I had to wait forever to get into the server so uh, yeah now we are on CP Badlands because we inputted that command Archon change level CP Badlands and we changed from Granary boss. to here and of course we get the uh, scout in the background now, uh, one thing to touch on is that if you are, uh, you know, if you're wanting like uh, limits on uh, what people can use in regards to weapons and stuff, you will need to run an owl config in most situations. Not all configs uh, set a whitelist. So these are the owl configs. Uh, they're very similar to the standard ones. Your standard push config, which has the 30 minute uh, map time and the 5 win limit. This is simply called OWL. So, Arco, execute OWL. And uh, these configs, the OWL ones, can be found on all of the NZ Fortress bookables and I believe all of the Oz Fortress bookables as well. So, this is the OWL 6 config version 2, with uh, version 2 is just to sort out a few whitelist issues. And uh, yeah, all the servers should have this. And so, of course, the other ones are Archon, Execute, Owl, Cough for King of the Hill. And then, of course, Archon, Execute, Owl, Stopwatch. I always think it's meant to be Owl, Stop. No, it's not. It's Owl, Stopwatch. So, those are the very basic commands that you will need for, uh, you know, just in general setting up a server for scrim situations one which a lot of people don't know about which I'm going to quickly cover because it is quite handy is the TF tournament class limits command now this command here is used for setting the number of uh, the number of players you can have on any class so obviously as you type it in you get the list coming down and you can see we can cycle through it and choose whichever one you want. So if your team is running through strats and you think it'll be easy to have them all as scouts, you can say set this to six, come back and preface it with Archon, wow, I cannot spell, Jesus, I cannot spell, and hit enter, and you will set the class limit for scout to six, meaning that uh, instead of two people being able to go scout, your whole team pretty much can go scout. And uh, obviously this works for all of the classes and is very handy. Righto, so you shouldn't need any more commands than this to do basic, uh, you know, administration of uh, TF2 scrim servers. So just remember to preface everything with the Archon command, and uh, remember not to give Archon out to anyone. Um, you can get in a bit of trouble for that, and uh, people can play with the server and cause all kinds of havoc. So uh, yeah, if you do have any questions, uh, post them in the comment section below on the YouTube vid, and uh, or hit me up on NZ Fortress. 
hope this is uh, I hope this is handy for some of you out there, and uh, yeah, hit me up if you have any questions.